Page, here comes the pressure. Justin Lewis, a freshman out there at cornerback, and the pass is intercepted. Picked off by the Minutemen. Bakari Goodson has the first takeaway of the season, and UMass is in business. Great field position. 13 interceptions last year for UMass. They look to cash in right away, and it is caught for a touchdown. What a start to the season. Brennan Dingle hauls it in, and UMass jumps out here on their home field. But it's a different look here for Duquesne defensively as Comus will hand off to Marquise Young, who turns the corner. Comus the pass, has plenty of time, has a man wide open, Isabella, and with his speed, you can forget about it. Touchdown, UMass. Backs and tight ends are very interchangeable. Young on the ground. Okay, let me check. Got hit, kept going, picked up the first down. Southern last year, he's no slouch. Ali gets it again, and Ali has the corner. Bilal Ali down the sideline, tripped up, and almost got there. UMass up to the line quickly. They go to the ground, and they're into the end zone for the third time this quarter. And it's fitting that Ali is the one who gets the final call. Touchdown, UMass. UMass going for in their own territory on fourth down, and Duquesne comes up with a stop. Marquise Young on the handoff around the left side. He's on a 5'11 frame. Second down and eight. Par. Pass is complete to Kellen Taylor, and he has enough for a first down. 31 yard attempt for Mitch Maxura. And the kick is good. But Duquesne gets on the board in different drives almost at any point in the game. A lot of room on the far side for Dingle. Brennan Dingle eventually driven out of bounds by Leandro DeBrito. He is small. The officials, they all take care of each other. Ford throws it underneath to his tight end, Kyle Horn. Horn cuts it back inside. He's brought down inside the 15 and a first down for UMass. The catch and then what a great job by Jacoby Herring on the block downfield. Working quickly, Isabella tiptoeing on the sideline, paid the price and was rewarded with a touchdown. In a lot of them, good and bad. Horn, a mass kid from Pembroke, did not play in 2016 due to an injury. Comis, tons of room for Ross Comis. Gets a block downfield, but he fumbled the football. Picked up by Duquesne. Standback, who had the hit on fourth down, has the fumble recovery for Duquesne, and he takes it out to the 44-yard line. Duquesne needs a chunk play pretty bad here. Near midfield, they need something good. Parr looking for something big, and it's intercepted. Bryce McAllister has the pick. Ways. Got it going, especially against BYU. Big hole for Marquise Young, and he has a first down. Bolt doesn't guarantee anything, but they need to get there. And as Gresh talked about the top of the telecast, that is the goal. Young stopped inside the five. He uses right to fend off the defender. Young uh, tiptoeing into the end zone for another UMass touchdown. Here with some pride points before the end of the half. Daniel Parr getting his first start as a member of Duquesne, and here's a positive thing for Duquesne. Big run by A.J. Hines, who is AJ Hines a big man to try to challenge. Lucky to get five, but seven, and he's making the most of it. On the delay, Barr trying to track down Hines, couldn't get him, and Hines is down to the six. First and goal for Duquesne. Parr will keep it himself. This is dangerous. Tries to throw it up, and he does for a touchdown. Parr slammed on the brakes right before the line of scrimmage. The officials say it is a good score, and Duquesne has their first touchdown of the evening. Nahari Crawford with the touchdown. Parr trying to tack on the two, and it's grabbed in the end zone by Lee Moses. So the two-point conversion fails.
quarterback. Ford scrambling on third down and 11. Finds Isabella for the first down. Isabella makes a move. Touchdown. Blitz. Intercepted. McAllister down the sideline. And he has a pick six in his UMass debut. BS football. Second down and five. Comus with the pitch out to a lead. Turns the corner. He's got the first down. Into Duquesne territory. Driven out of bounds at the 45-yard line. Comus finds Kyle Horn. He won yards a game. So you can get a little look perhaps in what they want to do with Ali. And you get a look at Ross Comus scrambling out of trouble and running into the end zone for another UMass touchdown. Second and 10, it's Cunningham. Cunningham with a big hole. Cunningham is brought down. Parr's got some room to run, and he'll take it in for the touchdown. Daniel Parr scores the touchdown. Kane's second touchdown. Maxura, point after is no good. And the score will hold at 56 15. Now, four wins in FBS last year as Georgopoulos gets it away. Boy, a good punt. Cork that thing. And it's muffed. Coming up by UMass. Freshman Joseph Norwood covers it up. And the goal line. Third down to 12 for Comis throwing end zone touchdown. Zach Simon has his first UMass touchdown. He plays. I can hear him, but he can't hear me. And that will do it. Michael Curtis takes Well, this followed the script pretty much to a T for UMass. Okay, he can hear me. With dreams of surpassing their win total in their previous six years as FBS school, dreams perhaps of getting invited to a bowl. Starts with a win over FCS Duquesne here today, 63-15 the final.